speaking the truth, but not applying it. Uh, and uh, we don't want to apply it. We think that it's enough to tell people the gospel. That's not true. Because this is not what Jesus did. Uh, I remember the disciples, after Jesus finishing his intercourse with the multitudes, uh, they said, okay, chief, let's pack it, send them home. And Jesus said, send them where home? These people are hungry, they want to eat. But you told them the message, you told them the gospel, why should we feed them? Let them go home. And, and we're like the disciples today, we like to send people home. We don't want to get into the trouble of feeding them and taking care of them and worrying about them. Uh, we're too busy, uh, we are so entangled with the affairs of this world that we have no time to love anymore. We need to make time to love. We need to start realizing why Jesus left us on this earth. The reason we exist as Christians on this earth is to shine. You are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before men that they might see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. We are a people of good works. That's why we're here. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. That's Paul. This is from the Bible. I'm not making up this. The reason we are here is to live for Christ, regardless of what is our profession. As a doctor, I'm here to live for Christ. As a pastor, I'm here to live for Christ. As a businessman, I'm here to live for Christ. In my profession, Christ has to be glorified and declared. That's why I'm here. I'm not here to accumulate wealth. I'm not here to earn degrees. I'm not here to do any of these things. Today in the Middle East, it's open doors. The Muslim world is in despair. The brothers are killing each other. Young people are helpless and hopeless. They are looking for an alternative. The alternative is not there because we are afraid. We need to start bringing the alternative home to them. We need to go. We need to start invading the Middle East with love, not with cruise missiles. We need to erect lighthouses for Jesus Christ. And that's what I am in. We started in Tyre. Now we're moving to Jordan. And to every place we can, we are going to erect a lighthouse for Jesus Christ. A door for people to enter in and know the love of God. That's my vision for the Middle East. And that vision I wanted to share with churches in America today. I, I say to the churches in America, stop being complacent. Rise up to the challenge that God has placed in front of you today. Today, it's open doors. Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, I have set before you an open door, which no man will shut. And it's interesting that God set open doors in front of the church of Philadelphia. The word Philadelphia means brotherly love. It takes love to take advantage of open doors. No love, no open doors. I call on all brothers in America and churches to love the Muslims everywhere. Not to argue with them. Not to do apologetics or go into Islamics or try to find... Com there is nothing common between us and them except that we are human. And we have to get that message across to them. The thing that is common between us and any other person is that we are humans. We do not have the same faith and we do not lead to the same God. Our God is a living God, is a holy God, is a righteous God who loves all people. That's the message that we can get across. Uh, uh, Christianity has the 
is the religion that has a message that no other religions have. Our message is love. Love unfolding from Genesis to Revelation. It's the story of love. How God loved man and worked throughout history to redeem man. And how he's going to glorify man in eternity. It's a story of love. And that message, no other religion in the world has that message. What we find in other religions is do's and don'ts.